G'day fellas, welcome to an unboxing video in the My Stash series, okay, so most of you guys know I'm going through my complete collection um, of kits just to show you guys what I have, because I have been, have been asked by quite a few people, um, including um, you guys, uh, my, my loyal subscribers. And you guys want to see what I have in my collection because it always pops up in some of my videos and some of my photos that I post up on Facebook. Even on the Hangouts, people see the stash in the background. They're asking me, what do you have in your collection? So because of the, I'm, because of the good person I am and I love you guys, I'm just going to show you what I have. And this is another kit that I have in my collection. It's a trumpeted uh, Dicker Max. It's a, pretty sure it's a Panzer IV chassis. Um, and it's 135th. Okay, and, and I'm just going to tell you now, this is an unboxing video, not a kit review, guys, because the the kits in my stash, um, like most of you guys have, have upgrade sets in it, you have extra parts that you've built aftermarket, etc, etc. This kit is how I bought it secondhand, okay? This kit generally retails for about $39.99 in Australia, give or take, depending on where you buy from. This was from a brick and mortar store. I actually bought this secondhand on Facebook for 30 bucks. okay? So, yeah, don't go trying to find this kit with all the contents for 30 bucks and go, oh, but Clement, Outback Mini Models reviewed this kit and it's there for 30 bucks. Yeah, wrong, guys. <laughs> this is the, the, the stuff that I have in this kit. This is out of my personal stash, okay? So... Um, and also says the trumpet update kit here as well. Um, but, I mean, the box art's pretty striking just by looking at it. Um, I love looking at box art. It's a shame to sometimes throw these boxes away. Um, because just, yeah, they're just really, really nice. Um, I know some of my friends frame them and they put them up in their hobby room. And it just really makes the room look really nice. But I don't have the space. And, yeah, I really can't be bothered. So, but, the... Talk about the box a little bit before I begin is the two short sides of the box the left and right edges is pretty much the front the same as the front but just on a smaller scale okay so the top long side of the box has a little bit about the vehicle um, so I'm not going to read it out guys so if you want to just pause the screen I actually move it both so if you don't read English but you can understand it um, there's just some there as well. Okay, so there's a bit here in Chinese and there's some here in English. So feel free to pause and have a squiz. Okay, but on this side here is an example of the completed model. Um, a very nice example actually. So this is what it can look like if you do put the time and effort into it. And it probably will look better. I've some, seen some of you guys work and it's just awesome. So... And before I continue on as well, the kit number for this kit is 00348. Um, if you wanted the base version of this, and I will show you what's aftermarket in, inside this kit, if I remember. But just have a look at this, okay? Photo wedge parts and aluminium and gun barrel are not included, okay? So this kit... Um, contains small parts here, including this kit and instructions, social model in box. Okay, so that piece of PE that you get, that is all you get in this kit, okay? It says basic set photo etched parts, okay? So just keep that in mind when, when I open up the box and you see the rest of it. Um, so, and all this stuff here is... Um, extra optional parts that you can buy and there I think that's the serial number there is 06602 okay um, no actually 135th Dicker Max upgrade and conversion kit 00348 is that for this kit yep so that's the um, set there 06602 for this kit so it just explains it there so yeah just make sure you get that correct and don't confuse it Okay, but um, is there a date on this kit? 2007, so this kit, or, or the date on this box is 10 years old. So we're going to crack this open. I've been talking long enough. All right. So this is the upgrade set, 
Now, what you see in this kit is what I got. So, obviously, the guy that I bought it off has had this, and he's just left it and thrown it in with the kit as well. So, you know, for an extra $24.99 Australian from Mr. Toys, this was in there. So, this set... Um, this is almost a kit review on its or a review on its own, so I may as well just show you while I'm here before I go digging through the box and showing the rest of it. Um, it's all stapled up. I don't really want to open it, but um, hang on, might be able to open this. No, it won't open. Okay, hang on. here we go. Uh, this is the set. Um, 6602 that was described on the outside of the box so I can show you this oh. All right, hang on. let's get the old trusty flies out So just by me opening these up, this is going to be a long video, so I do apologise, Kirk Phillips. Starting to sound like Benny Mac now. God, I've been hanging with him too long. <laughs> <clears throat> Hope you're doing well, Benny, if you're watching this video. Definitely need another catch-up very soon. Once I shift this base back down to Brisbane, man, I'll probably be seeing a lot more videos with me and Benny. Cruising around, running a muck as usual, getting up to no good. So I'm just going to rip these staples out. All right, so we're going to throw, stitch that. All right, so let's crack this open. Oh my God, and he's decided to use tape as well. Okay, there you go. It's 10 minutes trying to open up this packaging without destroying it. That's why, I, that's why I was careful. Okay, so in the instructions, it just shows you how the PE goes on, where it goes, okay, bending, so it's general PE um, in here, just to detail up the um, Dicker Max, so some nice little basic instructions, nothing on the back, okay, so in this kit you do get, uh, so we do get a nice turned barrel, okay, solid barrel in this kit, we do get some, okay, so this is all taped in, so I don't want to pull it out, so I don't want to bend it. But you can see there, there's, um, looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five P, five sheets of P maybe in here. Looks like five, so there's one, two, and then flip it over, and there's the other two sheets as well. Looks like we've got some P for the, looks like, Back for the ammunition rings or something. Yeah, so but that's that. So that's what you're getting that little upgrade set. Okay, so instructions. Guys also thrown in a little print off um, on the Dick and Max and a bit of a write-up from missionmodels.com. Uh, so it's basically a review on this so I don't know if you can read that but you might want to pause it just have a quick squeeze if you want see it's even got the sprue layout as well um, whether it's for this kit is it the kit number okay so US dollars is 44.98 the time of print off was 2011 9th of the first okay so well this one's a dragon models limited Okay, series, so this is not about this particular kit, so that won't go too much on that. And it's not with this kit that was in the box. And then we've got the standard uh, trumpeter gloss uh, painting and marking guide. And the instruction book. Okay, so we're just going to flick through this, because this has turned into quite a long video, or will be. And we do have, okay... We do have options for a rubber band track, and we do have options for plastic Indie Link tracks. So I'll definitely be going with the Indie Link tracks, um, and this one will probably end up being thrown out in the bin. Okay, so that's my base. But then we got the sprue map. All right, so 
So it looks pretty similar to the just the standard Panzer IV build. Okay, very very similar. Um, I won't go too much detail on this because I do go into detail on the Panzer IV um, Berg Panzer um, review that I just done. So I probably do go through the, this instruction book a little bit more. But it's pretty similar guys, it's really not that much difference, obviously there's more, it looks like there's more internal parts, because there's an exposed um, top on it, okay, so you can just see there, that um, it is going to be a fairly, another busy little build, and then we still, in the back of the main gun, uh, we do have internal details, or very minor internal details for the um, gun deck itself, and then there are internal details for the turret, which is cool. It is an open top. Okay, remember that this is an open top vehicle. So, you know, being an open top, you are going to see more of the details inside. And slapping on the big superstructure on the top. And jack assembly, exhausts, uh, multi-part jack. Okay, we've got lights, uh, brass wire, and... So we, we do have tool clamps on this as well, P tool clamps. And we've got toolboxes. Okay, so if I'm going too fast, you can always just pause the script, pause the, um, hit the pause button and just have a good look for yourself. Um, just with this camera I'm using now, it does come up pretty clear on YouTube, so there's no dramas there for you guys. But, you now we've even got a periscope. Um... And a nice, you can just see there, just the silhouette of the vehicle is going to be really nice. This is, this is what sold me. It's just something different compared to building tigers and panthers all the time. So, um, yeah, I thought, what better way to break up the collection and get something like this. So that's the instruction book. Final assembly is just a muzzle, um, muzzle, gun muzzle on the end. And just tiny little bit of bits and pieces just to finish it off. And that is the kit complete. Right, so going through the box, I'm going to show you how it is laid out. Okay, so we do have a, um, now this is pretty much the standard kit now, um, what you get, what you should be getting in the kits, let me double check. Yeah, pretty much, so minus that um, upgrade set, and is pretty much as what you get in the basic kit now, is what you'll buy, or what you get if you bought it in the hobby store. Okay, so we have... One, two, two bags of Indie Link tracks. Um, so you do have to cut them out, three points per link. And you do get eight sprues. Okay, guys. Um, no ejector pin marks on the tracks. No flash. So, another big thumbs up. Love it when they do that. <coughs> right, so, we have the upper deck. Some, what is it, a rear? So you can see here, all these... All these pieces are here are on this main piece. There's no need to glue extra details. It's, you can see there, it's really nice. Like, I'm really impressed with that. Okay. And we have... <clears throat> just some really great little details. There's the periscope, spare track links. We also have some of the wheels, the idler wheels. The drive sprockets are also quite nice. Tool clamps. Oh, uh, track clamps, we have the tools, shovels, and just your standard um, German armoured tool that you see on nearly every armoured vehicle that you build. Okay, so there's that, very nice. Um, and you can see there, I don't even have to explain it, you can't see any flash on this at all. Um, it's very impressive. And then moving on to sprue F and sprue L. Okay, so we do have the gearbox, gearbox here, looks like, um, this looks like where the gun, gun, um, no, looks like the driver's seat maybe, not the driver's seat, it looks like the similar part you get in the Panzer IV, so that must be a standard, standard piece that you get in there, and then we got some of the toolboxes, and there's a the plastic barrel, okay, so now that we've got the upgrade set, not going to need this, but this is. But you will get this as a standard, in standard kit. Just a two-piece plastic barrel, and the toolboxes and all of here, even to the little latches and 
clips and that on there really nice lots, lots of nice little rivet details the exhaust is two piece you know, it's not too bad but <clears throat> use the right glue use the right sanders you can generally um, get rid of those mold lines and that you now there are seats in here guys so that looks like yeah, the front section there Better you picked it up in the instructions because I completely missed it because I just flicked through the book very quick so I do apologize for that but like I said go back and just pause as I flick through the pages and you can just have a better look at the instruction book that way but um, yeah you do get seats in here so that's another nice touch and they look like the back rests here on parts 23 on uh, sprue F okay uh, sprue P1 so we do have three sprues in the one, so we've got P1, M, and P2. But here we have all the machine guns, looks like we've got a big spanner, like a wrench. Uh, looks like antennas and things, aerials, okay. So we do have bolt cutters on here. We have the tow cable ends, okay. And just some more tools with some riveting on the shovel cap. Or shovel cover, whatever you want to call it, and there's part of the jack there with the nice detail. So nothing bad to say about this particular sprue. We've also got like a gun holster and uh, German water bottles here as well. So I'd say for the details and gas mask cans. So yeah, very nice. Road wheels, road wheels and suspension. Okay, so we do have, and we've got more. There's, another, there's a fire extinguisher. But the just get under a bit of light. The leaf spring detail on the uh, on the inside is a little bit shallow, but on the outside edge, I'd say that's the outside edge. The details are really nice and sharp for the leaf spring. So they are going to take a wash and dry brushing very well. Especially when add oil effects, it's just going to sit in there really nicely. But um, these road wheels here are quite nice. If you did look at the uh, the Trumpeter uh, Berg uh, Berg Pans of Four review, and you skip to the part where I show the road wheels, and I did mention that the details on the road wheels, you know, I have seen better, and this is exactly what I mean compared to these wheels here. Even though they're, they're still they're both Trumpeter kits, the details on these wheels are just a lot more sharp. Um, they're not so shallow and sort of you know half assed detail you could say but yeah it is it is actually quite nice I am quite happy with these details on these wheels so there's nothing bad about to say this particular sprue and getting through the last few parts so what have we got left we got the lower hull we got the main top we have a PE sheet with some cables we got some decals um, very basic so you know if you hate you putting on decals it's you know, you're gonna be happy here there's only what I'm not gonna pull these out because you're all stable in it's probably about generally about four to five decals for an armored vehicle um, but yeah so that's it there you can see the crosses and there are two white symbols there so it looks like there's only four decals in this decal sheet okay so crappy rubber band tracks um, not a fan of them, okay. But the good thing is they are hollow guide horns, so you know that's a plus, I guess, compared to solid. Um, they do feel all right, okay, but you know, just I don't like rubber band tracks because after a few years they start to rot and break down and fall apart, especially depending on what kind of glues and paint and you know stuff you put on top of it. So sun can destroy them as well, but yeah, it's I'm not a big fan of them. Okay, so the Okay, this looks like the same um, same lower hole section as the uh, Berg Panzer IV. So looks like they've used the same shell. But as I spoke in the last video, um, I love how Trumpeter do put um, details on the lower sections of the holes. It's not just a flat piece with no detail showing. And you can see all the all the hatches, um, service hatches they got here as well. So they're, they're nice and nice and um, sharp is what i'm looking for and even on the side and even just in here like just the cog detail is just it's just absolutely gorgeous guys if i can 
try and focus. So I do apologise for the lights being bad. Okay, I'll try and flick these lights in a bit more. But you can see there, that that's just really, really nice. And uh, nothing in there to show. It's just uh, stick a max and I think the serial number for this particular part. Uh, main super upper superstructure is some riveting detail on the inside. And you know, it looks like there's a bit of plastic here that you're going to have to clean up and also there. Okay, so this part here and that part that you have to clip off and clean up. But, a you know, nice raised, um, raised surface detail as well as rivets. And, yeah, that's, I'm happy with that. And finally, the PE sheet. And this is another one because it is an old kit. It has a slight bend to it. It's probably my fault, maybe, but just the way I've thrown it in the box. But um, you know, that's pretty basic PE sheet, like it says on the front of the box. And I guess that's why the previous owner of this kit has bought the upgrade set by Trumpeter to um, spice up the model a little bit more. And you do get a brass cable in here as well. So that's the box empty, guys. Um, do appreciate you watching and commenting the, on these videos and supporting this channel. Um, we're getting pretty close to 1,500 subscribers, so I hope we get there in the next few months. Um, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit the sub button. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. It uh, doesn't bother me, guys. It helps me big time, uh, whether you like it or not. That way it gives me an idea of what you guys want to see and what you don't want to see. So have a great day, guys, wherever you're watching around the world. Uh, and happy modelling. And I'll catch you in the next video. See you, fellas.